Coming up on today's installment of ICN, an interesting addition to campus, new clubs to join, and a different way to interact with our bookstore. But first, today's open, which was produced by our VPT student, Cameron Crisp. New clubs are popping up here on campus. Both the Chess Club and the Twin Phoenix Taekwondo Club will take place on Thursdays. Starting today, the Chess Club will meet from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. in the Student Center Lobby. It is free and open to anyone regardless of skill level. The Taekwondo Club will meet from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the Student Center Gymnasium, entering from the Swimming Pool Hallway. Once again, the club is open to students and employees of any skill level though you are encouraged to wear comfortable clothes to move in. Another club we'd like to tell you about today is the Book Club. The Book Club is also open to all students and employees who are interested in participation. So you may only read the books this semester that you're interested in. There's still time to read the first book of the semester, The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. As the next meeting is next Friday, February 10th at 9 a.m., the book club meets in room 205 of the administration building. To join the club or receive a virtual meeting link, contact Jeremy Burris. For more information, jburris at isothermal.edu. History lovers, rejoice. Yes, after almost a month of being closed for cleaning and reorganization, the Polk County History Museum is reopening this weekend on February 4th. The museum will be open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can learn more about this by visiting their website at polknchistory.org slash museum or their Facebook page. Some important dates are coming up to soon on campus, starting with one applicable for all students. The campus will be closed on Friday, February 17th for a professional development day. The day before Thursday, February 16th, will be the last day for students enrolled in eight-week classes to withdraw from their class with a W. This week's Spotlight introduces us to Alice McClooney, the lead instructor for the Early Childhood Program at Isothermal. I have a passion for education in general. I started off uh, teaching middle school math, uh, and then I've been here at the college for several years in different capacities, uh, but I really missed working with students the most. And so when the opportunity came for me to be able to, to go back to my first passion of teaching, um, I just jumped at that opportunity. We are a very hands-on department. In your first semester, you're going to learn how to write lesson plans, and you're going to have field experience, doing hands-on lessons in class, lots of role playing, a lot of fun. So if you're not sure what you like about education or what level of education you might want to be um, employed in, it's a great program for you to try it all out. To find out more about this program and others, visit isothermal.edu. Isothermal's bookstore has an interesting development recently, launching a new online store. The online storefront can be accessed from bookstore.isothermal.edu and features a variety of products, from course-specific materials and textbooks to products printed with the school logos. This allows students to have items shipped to them in case they might not be able to pick them up in person. That's all for our show today. Thank you so much for joining us on ICN. Remember to subscribe to the Isothermal TV YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page. Have a great day, and remember, stay classy. We'll see you next time.